welcome to WFH 2022. It's great to see that people with bleeding disorders once again are able to come to this meeting. It's attended by people with bleeding disorders and their caregivers, their healthcare providers and our industry partners. Anything from haemophilia to Van Willy brands to platelet disorder to women's bleeding disorders. It's a global disease and yes. we know that there are main discrepancies around the world uh, for the management and the screening of haemophilia. And all this networking, finally we are together, will help us to focus on places where there is more attention needed. Nepal is a low income country and we were not able to buy clotting factors because those were very expensive for us. WFHs have donated a huge number of clotting factors and that has really helped a patient in many ways. WFH has impacted a lot in initiating various advocacy tools and which has really empowered patients to talk to the government. This is what we need now all over the country. There is rightly a big focus on girls and women with bleeding disorders because we are 50% of the population. It's time we woke up to them and the WFH are very front thinking for women. This experience is really showing us that we, we are important and we have also a mission to carry when it comes to fighting for a better care and better treatment for women in a bleeding disorder. We have to be the, their voice and to say everywhere, women bleed too and women need early diagnosis for them. I think girls should totally apply to the Susan Skinner Memorial Fund Scholarship. It's just a really special opportunity and I would love to talk to some girl in the future who's also gone here and discuss ways to improve the future experiences of, of other girls. Our role um, is sort of to observe, which I also think is a sort of unique viewpoint that we get to have. And we can build a network of women that are all advocating for the same thing. I'm particularly interested in some of the new uh, gene therapeutic approaches that are uh, underway and how uh, that ultimately can affect the treatment of patients with bleeding disorders. We see gene therapy as being applied globally. There are a lot of advantages uh, for gene therapy once we show it's safe and effective. And so we really need to look at efficacy and durability and safety in those individuals around the world. We know it's important to share knowledge about how to best treat hemophilia, to uh, lobby for investment in hemophilia research and uh, pushing the science forward. If you want to get the latest information on how to take care of your patients, from the science that's out there, this is where you get that information. Every family with hemophilia is going to be different and come to the table with different experiences. And it takes events like this for us to really be able to network with a bigger group of people. It kind of helps uh, the, the attendees to develop their skill set and get a global understanding of how bleeding disorders is managed globally. I've been living with hemophilia for the past 39 years. Uh, for me, life has been a miracle. Your condition doesn't stop you from doing as much you would want to do and achieve in life. WFH has done so many things for us. The teaching resources, bringing us together with other uh, communities, it's, it's something that you can't do alone.